A common question I am often asked is, what exactly is a seizure? A seizure is abnormal electricity coming from the brain. Let me give an example. Imagine I'm having a seizure coming from the left side of my brain, which controls the right side of my body. This surge of electricity over the left side of my brain can cause abnormal movements in my right arm, most often jerking movements. So again, a seizure is abnormal electricity coming from part of the brain that causes symptoms such as jerking. Seizures come in many different types. For example, sometimes jerking episodes. Some may consist of staring and unresponsiveness. Another common question that we are asked is, do I have epilepsy? Epilepsy is defined as two or more unprovoked seizures. Let me give another example. A healthy 35-year-old male is at a meeting. For no identified reason, he suddenly collapses to the floor and has a full-body convulsive seizure. He recovers after a few minutes. After the first seizure, he does not have epilepsy. If he has a second seizure, then he'll meet criteria to have epilepsy. Education about what epilepsy is can be very important for many patients and families. Every patient who has seizure activity wants to know the cause. Knowing the cause of the seizure activity is extremely important. Reasons such as stroke, meningitis, or a brain tumor could be the cause of a patient's seizures. Approximately half of patients with epilepsy have no identified cause. Seizures and epilepsy are common. 9% of the general population will have a seizure during their lifetime. Most people are really surprised to hear that high number. 2.2 million people in the United States have epilepsy. The chance of developing epilepsy is 1 in 26. It's important to know that care and resources are available for individuals and their families who are affected by epilepsy. Effective treatments that can reduce or eliminate seizures and improve quality of life are available. If you or a family member have been affected by seizures or epilepsy, talk to your doctor for more information about how to access specialized epilepsy care.